Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So JP just got the details for their latest campaign and there's some pretty interesting stuff in there, man. So in today's video, we're going to check it out together. And without further ado, let's pop into the news here and see what's going on. Okay, so here is the new campaign for the JP side of the game. Oh, actually, no, these are the missions. My bad. Uh, this is the new campaign for JP. I don't really know what it's called, but we have the Kaoken Goku, some flames in the background, and also some snowflakes on the text here. So I'm assuming it's some kind of winter campaign, right? And scrolling down, we have your standard stuff, login bonus, special missions, and the Dokkan Festival banner for the new STR transforming full power Bojack and the tech Zhongya. And in terms of when this banner is coming out, it says November 30th at 5 p.m. but I believe that's Japan time so let me actually pop over to the Dokkan wiki and let you guys know how many hours we have before this banner drops uh yeah it says here 14 hours okay so if you're watching this video around the time that it comes out then we have about 14 hours before this banner becomes available in the game and for anybody that's summoning for Bojack, I hope you guys pull him in a reasonable amount of stones. Good luck. I do think he is a very, very good unit. Obviously, there have been a lot of comparisons to the STR transforming cooler. And while I don't think he's as good as STR cooler, I don't really think it's a fair comparison. Because we're literally comparing him to one of the best TURs in the game. And even though, yes, he is the newest you know, TUR to be added to Dokkan... Um, not every TUR has to be like the new best TUR, in my opinion, okay? So, I think it's okay that he's not as good, but still very, very good. And it's just it's just kind of unfortunate, right? The fact that he's very similar to Cooler in a lot of ways, in terms of their kits, um, even their transformations and all that stuff. So, yeah, I get the transfer, or I get the comparisons, but nonetheless, I think he is a great unit. If he was coming out on Global right now, I, I would probably still summon for him. But uh, since he's coming out for JP, I'll probably just hold off until, you know, the eventual global release. But uh, like I said, guys, good luck. If you're going for him and you pull him, then uh, you should definitely be happy about that because he is an awesome unit. So from there, we have a new category banner for, I believe, the new category called Space Traveling Warriors, right? And as you guys know, man, I'm, a, I'm not a big fan of category banners, no matter what units are featured. Unless they start featuring LRs on these banners, I'm always going to tell people to skip because it's just not worth your stones. The value is not good. So yeah, skip this banner if you can. Obviously, it's up to you, but yeah, just, just don't do it. And uh, we also have a new Elder Kai banner. Um, some stone sails, of course, and the new Dokkan event for the full power Bojack. We also have the return of a few story events, obviously the Bojack movie story events coming back. We have the Android 13 story event coming back. And uh, we also have the Future Trunks and Future Gohan story event, University 11 story event. And the Hero Extermination events are also going to be available, uh, is it every day? I think that's permanent, right? And the reason that they're being highlighted here is because we are getting the awakenings for uh, the AGL Whis and the Fizz Hatchiak, who haven't been awakened since like 2016. So we waited literally like four to five years for these to happen. And if you guys want the details for what they do, feel free to go check my video from about two days ago, just going over their details. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be a thing. We also have the return of the Int Trunks, um, Extreme Z Area, obviously a new uh, Ultimate Clash. And also a new chain battle. So the boss this time is going to be that uh, Bojack movie Gohan. And in terms of the effective units or characters, from what I saw, it was basically just Bojack and his crew, like Zhongya, um, Goku, so on and so forth, for the extreme side. And then for the uh, super side, it was basically just Piccolos. Like it was all Piccolos. So it's going to be kind of funny to see like what kind of teams people put together for uh, this chain battle, because a full Piccolo team, I don't think would actually work because you need to put 10 supporters and I mean, in my mind, there's only like six, maybe seven different Piccolos. Obviously, you could put like TUR versions, I guess, and SSR versions that could work. But um, I, I don't know why, but I feel like the scores this time around might be a little bit lower than we're used to. But if everybody if everybody's on the same playing field, then it doesn't really matter, right? Um, but yeah, it's going to be funny, man. I mean, I kind of feel like 
I feel like people are gonna not use Piccolo's and maybe use another super team, like maybe all Gogeta's or all Goku's or something like that. We'll have to see, but uh, yeah, new chain battle with the Bojack movie Gohan. And we all, oh, okay, so this was the interesting thing I was talking about. So everything else was like standard, right? Like you expected this stuff, but this was the unexpected thing. The next 120% Extreme Z Awakening is officially gonna be Int Gogeta, man. This dude is about to be on top once again. I mean, his damage output right now, even though he's like super old, is still okay, you know? Like it's not super impressive, but it's not bad, especially because he has the effective against all, right? So um, his only issue, in my opinion, is the defense. Obviously he does need a little bit more offense too, but if they give him a little bit more attack and actually the ability to get defense, you know, like maybe stacking defense or just raising defense for a couple turns on a super attack, or maybe the ability to dodge, I don't really know, something like that, then he's going to be really, really good. Definitely better than the STR Super Gogeta, maybe even better than the Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta from the Broly movie. That might be asking for too much. I don't know, I don't know, we'll have to see, but I think there's a chance he might be better than the Broly movie Gogeta. Yo, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. Do you think he has a chance to actually surpass that unit, or is he going to be somewhere in between, like the STR Gogeta and the AGL Gogeta? Either way, I'm happy, man, because, you know, right now nobody's using him. Like, there's really no reason to run him except maybe in Battlefield, where he's like the, you know, 120 lead, but, uh... I'm excited for this one, man. I actually thought that it was going to be either Cooler or Janemba, honestly, because it seemed like they were on that like extreme trend and they were going to do all the extreme first and then the super, but I guess not, man. I mean, I would have preferred Cooler, to be honest, but I'm happy it's Gogeta. Obviously, Gogeta is a much beloved character, one of my favorite characters in the entire franchise, of course. And uh, yeah, man, I hope they do him justice. I know they will. I, I know they will. They wouldn't screw up Gogeta, right? They wouldn't mess with Gogeta, hopefully. If you guys have any predictions for what he's going to do, what his passive is, all those things, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. For now, I'm going to withhold my predictions because i got to think about it. I just woke up and my brain is not working properly, but yeah, let me know if you guys have ideas, all right? So uh, there's the Extreme Z Battle event. We also have the return of the, yeah, the, return of the Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku um, event as well. Actually, no, it's not... So he is Kaioken, technically, right? Like the art is, but it's actually just Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So this leads me to believe that maybe some of the other Super Saiyan Blue Gokus that need Extreme Z Awakenings, like the AGL one, as well as the Tech one, those guys might be getting easy A's through this Extreme Z battle event. Hopefully, man, fingers crossed. And uh, we also have some other events coming back, like Bio Broly, Tapion, Lord Slug, Cooler, and uh, obviously there's Okan event for Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, as well as uh, Int Gogeta. And finally, we have the return of the Extreme Z area for Lord Slug and Kaioken Goku. So that pretty much wraps up the uh, new campaign here for JP. Um, most things are pretty standard. Yeah, most things are were expected, but the Gogeta I did not see coming. I thought there was going to be a new EZA. I didn't think it was going to be Gogeta, right? I thought it was going to be one of the extreme guys. Um, I guess Cooler is going to have to, you know, come later. Hopefully doesn't they don't make us wait too long, because Cooler, I think by far, is going to be the best one out of the entire batch. Like, he's already such a monster right now when, when paired up with the STR Cooler. With the EZA, yo, it's going to be crazy. But anyways, right now it's going to be Gogeta. I don't mind that. And uh, let's quickly look at the missions, I guess. See if there's anything special here. I kind of doubt it. Um, let's see, yeah, so for time limited missions, it looks like we're getting uh, about 10 dragon stones, and then, or 11 dragon stones, I think, and then one stone a day from the daily mission, and, uh, you know, other stuff like keys, some sleepy kai's, elder kai, all those things. Okay, so nothing too crazy there, and for the chain battle, I want to just quickly make sure that I didn't, um, mess up the effective characters. Uh, oh, there you go, yeah, so... As you can see, yeah, Bojack, Gokua, Zangya, and a bunch of Piccolos. So, there it is, man. Uh, it's going to be funny to see what kind of teams people come up with. I'm sure somebody's going to figure out a better or a better super team than just Piccolos. 
um so stay tuned but uh yeah guys that is all i gotta say that is today's news update for my jp players out there look forward to the int gogeta eza global probably won't get it for like I mean, given the current pace, they're releasing ECAs like five years, but hopefully sooner than that. And uh, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time as always. And if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.